when you prepare modern Indian history for your UPSC preliminary examination, 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, you have to study very well. Okay. 1920s, 1930s, 1940s. Because so many events, so many movements happened during 1920s, 1930s, 1940s. You must know the causes, consequences and the relevance in modern Indian history. Because a lot of questions the UPC already framed and asked from 1920s, 1930s, 1940s. Okay, so you have to study, you must have a conceptual clarity about uh, the major events and uh, major movements of 1920s, 30s, 40s. Today, we will be discussing Cribs mission. The different important dimensions of Cribs mission we will be covering today. And uh, this is also important. I will show you, we will be solving a good number of previous years questions from this particular topic, Cribs mission. Welcome to Galland IAS. And let's start now. When you study this Cribs mission, yeah, the first important question UPC asked here, yeah, who sent the Cribs mission to India? This Cribs mission was sent to India by the then British Prime Minister. Okay, then British Prime Minister, it was Winston Churchill. Yeah, Winston Churchill, the then British Prime Minister sent the Cribs mission to India yeah, that is to seek Indians cooperation in World War II. In South East Asia, Britain was facing reverses. And Indians cooperation is very much required. It is need of the hour in order to resist the possible Japanese invasion over India. Indian cooperation is required. More Indian soldiers must be recruited. So Winston Churchill, the then British Prime Minister, sent Cribs mission to India. That was in 1942. This is to propose constitutional reforms. Constitutional reforms and this is to seek Indians cooperation or India's participation in World War II. Okay, India's support for Britain. Now, see the causes. What were the major causes? What were the made? This is also another area UPC framed questions in preliminary examination. Which one of the following is not a cause or is a, is not a reason for sending of Cribs mission? So you see, many causes are there. One of them, look into this. I already told you that Britain faced reverses in South East Asia. In World War II, in the first half, you can see Britain faced or suffered in Southeast Asia, and there is a possible Japanese, the threat of Japanese invasion, a threat of Japanese invasion. Okay, India is one of the most valued colony for Britain, and there is a possible, there is a threat of the possible Japanese invasion. Okay, we have to resist it at any cost. Then pressure from allies. You could see that USA, United States of America, then there is a USSR and China. They all are putting pressure upon Winston Churchill. Mr. Churchill go and seek the support of Indians. Okay, Indian support is very much required. This is the need of the hour. Then only they can defeat these Axis powers. The And again, another reason. So there is, there is pressure from these uh, USA, USSR and this China, etc. Okay, they are, they are putting pressure upon Winston Churchill or Britain to seek support of Indians in World War or India in World War II. Another reason I would say, yeah, Congress already promised that if substantial power is transferred to Indian hands, there will be support from India. Okay, Congress, Indian National Congress already promised that. Indian National Congress already promised that, yeah, if there is transfer of power, if there is transfer of substantial power to Indian hands, Indianization of government, then there will be support to Britain. Because of these reasons, so take care. There is pressure from USA, USSR and China. Then there is, Britain is facing reverses in Southeast Asia. There is possible Japanese, a threat of Japanese invasion. Then there is 
uh, yeah there's like a uh, congress already agreed that if substantial power transferred to indian hands then there will be support in this uh, uh, world war 2 then what were the major proposals of krebs mission we have seen why krebs mission is sent now what were the major proposals yeah number 1 it offered a dominion status we are demanding for life and they are offering us jackfruit okay so this is dominion status it offered a dominion status yeah uh, we are offered a dominion status and we are free to decide our relations with the commonwealth of nations or united nations we are free to decide whether we must be part of that or we must uh, keep separate from that okay dominion status then there is constant assembly okay it is proposed to that uh, there will be a framing of a constant assembly so that it will be framing the future constitution of india a constant assembly will be uh, like a setup that constant assembly by indians they will be framing future constitution of india and uh, the members of assembly partly elected okay from provinces partly elected and uh, uh, from princely states nominated so partly elected partly nominated members will be sitting in the constituent assembly to frame the future constitution of india then another thing is yeah there is if any province if any province wish to keep away from this uh, union constitution union india yeah they can frame separate constitution they can form separate union and they can frame separate constitution that is another proposal of krebs mission if any province is not willing to join indian union they can remain separated they can frame on constitution okay that is also that is also another feature then another proposal is yeah the minorities Yeah, when the power will be transferred, you know, the minorities' interest will be safeguarded. Minorities' interest will be safeguarded. Minorities' interest will be, minorities' interest will be safeguarded. Before transferring the power and before accepting the new constitution, minorities and their interest also will be, I mean, they will be given veto power to decide the constitution. Then also there is a, there is a provision. That provision is like this. Yeah, in meantime, defense will be safe in the hands of this uh, british governor general okay british governor general will be the supreme of uh, uh, union constitution or maybe central government meantime that uh, defense will be uh, in the hands of british governor general these were the major proposals of krebs mission then why krebs mission failed Even the Krebs mission could not pass that uh, preliminary examination. You see that everybody rejected it. You see, Krebs mission failed. Even Winston Churchill rejected it. Winston Churchill, for him, it was, it was you know, uh, too much offerings or too much offers. For Indians, it was very conservative. You see, Krebs proposals were too radical for Winston Churchill and Viceroy. They never wanted this much offers to Indians. Okay, so Winston Churchill and Viceroy, even for them, it is too radical. The, the provisions were too radical. Then see, for Indians, too conservative. What we can do, we cannot play with uh, uh, play football with the dominion status. We don't want a dominion status. We want uh, complete independence, Purna Suraj. Dominion status, instead of Purna Suraj, they are only offering dominion status. Then also there is another problem, why Congress rejected the princely states or provinces were given the power yeah they can decide whether they should join the union constitution or they should remain separate which is against unity and integrity of india then see no immediate transfer of power no immediate all these things happening only after war no immediate transfer of power no share in defense still the governor general is the constitutional head so no you know practically no changes the Nehru, Maulana, Asad, they were official negotiators for this Congress. All these are UPC questions only, questions answers only. So take care. These are the reasons why Congress rejected this Krebs mission. 
okay and also these hindu mahasabha liberals they also rejected because there is a provision called uh, separation uh, provinces they can frame separate constitution that they rejected similarly rejected because uh, they uh, condemned to the idea of single union there is a demand for separate nation and there is there is even the proposal for creation of constituent assembly it is not okay for muslim league because muslim league felt that they will not be getting adequate representation in the proposed constituent assembly again there is there is no there is no proposal for creation of pakistan and according to gandhi ji gandhi ji is smiley gandhi ji's idea was it is a post dated check and drawn on a crashing back british is already crashing down british is already you know facing reverses and uh, uh, why should we depend on this britain we are in a position to achieve independence and why should we beg for independence okay so gandhi ji stand was like this this is a post dated check drawn on a crashing bank and uh, failure of transmission resulted in launch of kit india movement okay now you see some questions here an important aspect of kris mission 1942 if you go through a b c d could you answer the question could you answer A B C D out of this, which is the important aspect of Krebs mission? That all Indian states should join India Union as a condition to consider any degree of autonomy for India. All Indian states should join. No such a proposal is the creation of Indian Union with the dominion status very soon after the Second World War. Active participation, cooperation of Indian people, communities, political parties in British war effort. as a condition for granting independence no granting of independence framing of constitution for india indian union no separate constitution for any province it is said that if any province wanted to frame separate constitution they can do so so here a is wrong c is wrong d is wrong only one answer creation of indian union with the dominion status very soon after second world war bombay is the answer who of the following prime ministers sent the krebs mission to india which is winston churchill Krebs proposals included provision for full independence for India, creation of constitution making body. Only creation of constitution making body. There is no full independence to India. Only dominion status. Who among the following official Congress negotiators? Obviously, that is Pandit Nehru and Maulana Azad. Quit India movement was launched in response to yeah the failure of these uh, Krebs proposals. During Second World War, Allied powers pressurized Britain to change its policy in India. Which of the following was a reflection of the policy change? Yeah, obviously, this uh, Krebs mission is Krebs mission is this is a reflection of that policy change. Okay, Allied powers like uh, USA or USSR, even China, they all put a pressure upon Winston Churchill. So that uh, reflection of policy change was sending of Krebs mission. Consider the following statement with regard to reason behind failure of Krebs mission. Several Congress leaders themselves did not want Krebs mission to succeed. In fact, it is true because it is too radical for leaders like Winston Churchill, Viceroy, etc. Krebs proposals proved to be too conservative for Indians. That is also true. It is only providing dominion status, no purna swaraj. So both are correct answers. So C is your answer. Okay, we are winding up and take care. this is the way each topic you solve uh, each topic you concept you study well all dimensions and also you will solve the previous year's questions upsc standard model questions okay so that's it stay tuned for more videos and please do subscribe our channel